Can you tell us about the Muslim Brotherhood? If you belong to the Muslim Brotherhood, you actually have no brain. You have to take your brain out. What is your name? Abraham. Did you grow up in New York? No, I actually, I'm from Egypt. There's been a lot of revolution going on. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, young people, they need to live. They're not gonna give their uh, life for free. Last time you were there, was it very chaotic? Last time was at the revolution time, when they asked Mubarak to step down. Looks great over there, much better, yeah. <laughs> You're Muslim? I am, yes. How do you feel when you see, like, sort of anti-Quran and anti-Muslim, like, advertisements or things like that in New York? I feel so bad, because in any religion, it has its own good people, and it has its own bad people. They are some radical people. They understand the Quran mistakenly. So I don't think you have to judge me because some people doing something bad under the name of Muslim, you know. Did you hear about um, like that, the cab driver, I think a couple years ago, who somebody slit his throat just for being Muslim? For what? For what he doing this? Like, try to understand my religion first and then judge me. Don't judge me because I'm just Muslim. My best friends in Egypt are Christian. So what? You just follow your religion and that's it. Don't hurt nobody's feelings. Political motive gets mistaken for religious motive, maybe. Well, I always say you don't have to connect politics to religion because they never work together. Can you tell us about the Muslim Brotherhood? They all fall down, man. They all follow each other. These people pretending to be a good people. They don't care about the people. They only care about the people when there are elections. After the elections, they never gonna ask about it. But what is happening now in Egypt, I like it because we are learning who are the Muslim Brotherhood. And now we're learning what democracy is. After Hosni Mubarak, we're actually getting another dictator, which are the Muslim Brotherhood. We used to live like liberal. We don't need somebody to control us. So you're hopeful for Egypt? Yes. It's gonna take time, but by the end, I'm sure we're gonna make it.